Here we have a 2010 on a 59 registration Volvo B7R Plaxton profile, 70 seat coach. So we're offering this for sale on behalf of the Rogate Group, which incorporates White Bus in Berkshire, amongst other brands. One of a pair, identical twins, bar for about 30,000 kilometres. To be honest, for a vehicle that's just turned 14, she's not in bad nick, is she? Straight enough on the bodywork, certainly on the offside, anyway. Under the bonnet, 7 litre Volvo engine, it's on the cusp of this one, so I need to double check if it's Euro 4 or 5. Um, I'm going to edge towards 5, but as I said, I will double check, and it'll be the what's it, it'll be the uh, German Deutsch. Uh, engine in these as well at this age so far better lump than the early B7s that wouldn't take a lot of pain obviously driven through ZF fully automatic gearbox reverse cameras fitted back down the near side again the picture is the same more luggage than you'd uh, imagine on these B7s, you've not got the height, but you've got the depth, haven't you? And you haven't got any interruptions like toilets or um, centre stairs and, or whatever. So plenty of luggage space. My favourite bit about them is the old in-swing door. Great on stop-start school contracts where you can just whip the handbrake off and off you go. Tubular steel mirrors as well. Easy to replace, easy to repair, low cost. 70 seats this is factory built um with this is fairly standard plaxton stock spec of the era it was either this or the same in red seat sight in bad condition to be honest they are showing signs of wear in the obvious places you know edges of the seat cushions um on the edges here this, that's probably the worst one, I'd say, looking around. But, uh, and like you're getting a bit of that on the seats with, it's just with foot traffic in it, and with them being narrow, because of the 70 seats, you do get, um, you do get a bit of, uh, a bit of wear because people will be catching the tops of the seats with the bags they'll be catching the bottoms of the seats with the legs you know um there's the other one just going out now that's the sister ship there gpe but you know in fairness seats are in good order all the curtains are still here which sometimes is a miracle on a school bus of this age fully air conditioned as well i think that's important on 70 seaters because obviously body heat generates a lot of heat. In the summer, these get stifling if they don't have air con. So for me, that is a big, big tick. And then when we get down the front, fairly standard, wood trim to the dash, which uh, was, up, was in at the time, not so much these days. Four wood trim, I should say. But look, it's a standard Plaxton dash. Everything's where it should be. I can actually I can feel the aircon working, which is also good. Mileage-wise, this is the higher mileage one, at just over four hundred thousand. The other one's done about thirty thousand kilometres less. So they're both in the same ballpark. And MOT dates as well. They're within a week of each other. So, in fairness, there's now between them. So. Just to recap then, as I said, we've got a matching pair of twins. 2009 on 59 registration, Volvo B7R Plaxton Profile 70 seat coaches.